Hello, my name is Frances Louise Clark and welcome to my home. My grandma actually purchased the house in 1935 and uh, she fell sick and my parents came to take care of her and bought the house from her. It was a nice upbringing here. Mm -hmm. Then, you know, my siblings came around. Uh, my brother and sister were two years apart each. We lived here. Then th that, at that time, there were two bedrooms to the, at the house. My parents just decided to add an additional uh, two bedrooms to the back of the house. We're so grateful that they left this legacy for us. And I would like to just continue, you know, just to keep this as the hub for the family. Now, the staircase was in very, uh, was very bad condition very, very bad condition. The steps were built in, I'd say, 69, seven, close, close to 64, I would say. If you step on it, it would tip over. I have osteoarthritis developed from a broken ankle 10 years ago. Most of the time, I'm limping and in pain. Going down step by step by step and concerned about it tipping over and not uh, falling was quite frightening. My sister's uh, grandchildren, one almost hurt herself. We couldn't use the stairway. Not to have those steps available like that was, was just very, very difficult. I found out about Habitat for Humanities uh, through my job. I work part-time at the Urban League of Westchester. Tracy, the coordinator, uh, was, was, was wonderful. She guided me step-by-step step what to do. The construction people came and just took care of everything, everything. They just decided just to demolish the whole thing and had to do, do the entire stairway, which was a lot of work and they worked very quickly, even stronger than it was before. It was it's just beautiful job they did. Habitat for Humanity is just so awesome, you know, to help us seniors, uh, you know, be comfortable in their space. It's just, it's beyond words. Having these steps done has supported my knee issue. I really appreciate those steps now. <laughs> Thank you, Habitat for Humanity, for all that you do and for helping me and my family. My name is Brenna Bracey Seals. I reside at Atlantic Avenue Residence Condominium in Brooklyn. One day I received a call from the owner of where I was renting in Queens that the house was gonna be sold and that I had 30 days to vacate. It was like a lifeline that I was looking for because I didn't know where else to go because I couldn't afford the rents in the community that I lived. I remember that I heard about the work that Habitat for Humanity does with affordable housing. So I started on my journey to see if Habitat for Humanity would be able to help me with an affordable home. The process to obtain my home was challenging. I had a little anxiety, the pressure point of having 30 days to leave, but following of submitting documents and also the sweat equity process, Habitat made it easy but also firm. February 2010, it was one of the coldest days in February, the snow. The generators at the site of Hart and Lafayette, where I was supposed to report at, at eight o'clock um, were delayed. So I said, well, they're gonna close. They're probably not gonna have sweat equity today. We had sweat equity. It was a cold day, but I felt so much warmth. That was my first experience of feeling the nurturing bond of Habitat for Humanity staff and their mission. Lastly, my mom and I was walking through 1870 here at Atlantic Avenue. I did not know the unit that I am residing in now was mine. I opened the door. It was like a joyful moment. I walked in and I saw the microwave in the corner and that microwave said, welcome home, Brenna. And I had like uh, 10 days to vacate my apartment that I was renting in Queens. I'd like to thank Habitat for Humanity for affording me the ability to purchase my first home. 
Thank you for all the help, post purchase, and the resources. I couldn't have done it without you. Thank you.